guys! Today I wanted to discuss how your beliefs affect your life. I'm Maria and I'm here to help you attain your writing goals. If you're new to this channel, click on subscribe and stick for a while. Okay, so let's talk about something that I'm sure we can all relate to. We have all seen horses that with some riders they are complete saints and with others they are just devils. One of the answers that we come up with for this difference in behavior it's because maybe the rider is very very good and that's why the horse behaves like a saint. But I think that that's not the whole picture. It's like, yeah, that could be one of the reasons, but there can be something else. And that something else can be also the beliefs the riders have about himself or herself. How do you think that a horse would react if the rider is confident or if the rider is afraid? I'm sure that most horses will have a difference in behavior. If every time that you get on a horse you are thinking about everything that's going to go wrong and that you are saying to yourself, no, I cannot go, I don't know, on a trail ride because my horse is going to spook and he's going to turn around and I'm going to fall and then he's going to go galloping down the, the trail and there's a car that's going to come and he's going to get killed and people are going to be like killed and wow yes this is something that can happen I know but why are you thinking about something that could happen if it's not happening and having these beliefs that something could go to go wrong is not going to help your horse at all and so this horse is going to feel that you are afraid and if you don't master yourself then he's going to tell himself like oh um, the person who's in charge person that's on my back is afraid so I must be afraid there must be something wrong like somewhere and they start looking for things to be afraid of and that could be just a tree and all of a sudden the tree becomes like this monster and we are like why is, is, is a horse behaving like this when maybe yesterday it was uh, ridden by another rider and it, nothing happened and the horse went by the tree and nothing happened it's maybe just because we are talking about a difference in confidence and being afraid and the belief that the rider has of himself you can also see horses like um, this is something that happened to me like I know what I'm talking about I'm every time that I most of the times let's talk let's say let's say the true words most of the times that I've fallen down I really really hurt myself it's like I finish at the hospital like on surgery so I'm afraid of falling down that's normal but if every time that I ride my horse I'm going to think about oh my gosh I cannot fall down because if I fall I'm going to go to the hospital you can imagine how I'm not going to be okay at riding and my horse is going to, to, to feel it. Or for example, say for example, I have a new horse to ride. As a horse instructor, sometimes I have to ride my students' horses. And sometimes these horses are a little bit naughty. But maybe they are naughty because my student is not be believing in himself or herself. So when I want to go on that horse, I'm not going to say, oh my gosh, uh, that's a naughty horse and so I'm going to fall and hell is going to break loose. No, I'm trying to tell myself, okay, so maybe this horse is behaving like it's behaving because my rider is not confident enough, so I'm going to be confident. I'm going to go, I'm going to show the horse that he can believe in me and that he can trust me. And then we can go and we can continue working on that. And maybe at the beginning they're going to stay, still be afraid and skittish and like spooky. But as soon as they start feeling that you are some someone like that is feeling and trusting himself or herself, they are going to start trusting you. Believe me, it's something that I've been living and that I have experienced myself. So we are a product of our beliefs. Everything that we believe in, it's something we put energy into. And anything that we put energy into, it's something that grows and that becomes a reality. So if you think that you are unable to do something, 
you are not going to waste your time and, and your energy trying to do it. So you will never be able to do it. <laughs> and it's like, it's this circle. And you have to be able to get out of that and think like, even when things are like showing you that you are afraid, like I, I'm afraid of sometimes going on some horses, but I decide to feel confident and I decide to change the way I believe what's going to happen so that I can trust in my horse and the horse can trust me. So beliefs shape your life. Energy that's put into whatever you believe it's going to make that thing happen, whatever it is, something positive or if it's something negative. So our beliefs fuel our actions. Whatever we do has an impact on how we think. How we think goes and has an impact also on our mind. And our mind, it's what creates our beliefs. So you see the full circle there? So that's very, very important. We start start whatever you want start about the actions start on the thinking phase or with your mind or with your beliefs but start somewhere where you cut that circle and if it's a negative one of course and you shape it to be something positive because this way you are going to be able to do whatever you want it's something that henry ford said whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. I hope you liked this video. And if you have any comments, just put them down. I will be very, very happy to hear from you. If you have any questions, same thing. I will be coming back to you next week with another video. Bye.